Hey guys, uh, this is Akshay Sura. Today we'll be looking at um, how we can create a minion for Sitecore Commerce 9. Um, as you saw in the previous um, videos we've done, we've looked at how to create a plugin. A uh, good way to complement a plugin, most usually than not, is some post processing of uh, any kind of list. So I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but there is a role called as the minions role. Uh, it's another instance of the .NET Core website, um, which is responsible for uh, running scheduled tasks. Uh, this role uh, can be independent. It doesn't really need XP to do anything. It can sit on uh, off by itself in its own uh, instance, and it'll run through um, the scheduled tasks. So there could be a good and useful marriage between Sitecron, the other module I worked on, and a minion. Um, I haven't really played a lot with minions, but it looks like the scheduling can be a lot better. Uh, so that's something I'll definitely take a look at it. But it's typically used for post-processing of like any kind of list of orders, customers, whatever that is. In our case, we will be looking at um, how we can use it to process on a regular basis the points for a customer, uh, recalculate that because um, you have to think of it as though the orders can change, things can be uh, returned, um, canceled, anything of that sort. And we want to recalculate the points because points are equal to money. So we won't be getting into too much technicality uh, of oh, every single time something happens, we have to recalculate everything. But we're just going to put some logic in to recalculate a customer's points. Um, and then we can take it from there. Uh, also to mention is there is a good concept of policy, which is a good way for you to define uh, what information the minion needs uh, from the JSON, or you could have it based off of a, um, a class as well. But we might not be getting into too much of that. I haven't really used it, uh, but once I use it, I'll be sure to update you on that. Um, and then we'll we'll capture that part. So for the next part, we'll go into the code and I'll show you some of the changes I'd made to uh, the loyalty plugin we were working on. So first, as you can see, I actually had to split um, the engine as well as the website into two separate projects. It was just getting too annoying not being able to debug both at the same time. So that's why this was done. The other thing which I also did is um, added, so this component we had created uh, which can hold the points earned, points spent. You can tag it to any entity. So originally we were doing it on order. There's no reason why we can't tag it to um, a customer because essentially it's the same component. The values might be different. So points earned, points spent. So if you look from an order perspective, uh, we might have earned 50 points, but we may have spent a couple of hundred points if, to place that order along with another payment or just use the points. So it made sense. So I modified that. Along with that came a few of the changes. So when you look at the order, um, order view, um, we added the concept of uh, earned and spent. And again, um, we know that we have to tap into the get uh, view entity pipeline. That's where all the views get processed regardless. So you need to make sure which view you want to target and then do it from there. So saying all of that, so that was great. Uh, so we started a new project called as um, uh, loyalty feature reconcile point. Uh, this is going to be our minion project. So essentially what you end up doing is that you get a new um, class library going or you could use the, the Sitecore plugin um, or template project as well to create it. So once you're done with that, um, the main thing is the, the the class in the minion. So this is what we called. Uh, I won't bore you through everything, but essentially um, we have a class which is going to be a minion. And in here, essentially, uh, what I'm trying to do is get, get me all the customers. So things like this. Um, 
the actual list um, we could put it in a policy so we can instead of hard coding it it comes from uh, the JSON um, that's something again I haven't really played around with it I would like to play a little bit more it looks like it's similar to the configuration factory but um, without getting familiar with it I don't want to preach it uh, so essentially we're getting from um, uh, from uh, the engine we're saying get me all the customers uh, so if we do have customers we're going to loop through each one of them uh, we don't really need that line of code um, and then uh, essentially what we want to do is that we have a uh, reconcile point argument which we'll look at essentially all this guy stores as the customer ID for us to pass it back and forth here there's a get list IDs instead of items which you could also do but um, I'm going to add a little bit more logic in here. That's why I kept it as list items. Uh, otherwise, you can just get the IDs and that way it'll be much lighter. Um, and then uh, we create a reconcile argument with the ID. Uh, we're going to basically um, get a context. And then from the context, we are going to run um, a pipeline. Uh, so the pipeline we came up with is the reconcile points minion pipeline. So the definition is pretty simple. Um, and then we have a class based on the definition, but obviously it's not doing anything. This is just to define the pipeline. The pipeline works with processors, so we have blocks which uh, which get attached to it. So when we run uh, this pipeline right here, it is going to look at the configuration. So in the configuration, essentially, we've said, okay, there's a pipeline. This is the guy you need. And then the blocks are first, the, it runs the retrieve customer block similar to a processor followed by the calculate customer block so uh, if we go into retrieve customer block uh, essentially what we're doing is we get passed in uh, the argument the argument is has uh, a customer uh, um, it has the customer ID in it um, because we're passing in the reconcile points argument so one of the pipelines I wanted to use is the find entity pipeline and this is kind of it kind of gets very easy once you get into it at first trying to figure it out is going to be a pain in the behind but once you get used to it it actually becomes easier where most of the work is already done you're basically as you can see the lines of code is nothing really uh, so i'm calling that pipeline i want to find an entity of type customer i'm passing in the customer id uh, and then if i have if i don't have a customer i'm just going to say hey i can't find a customer otherwise i'm going to return a customer a customer so remember once this processor so once this block is done it's going to move on to the next one so this guy gets that customer so when he gets it um, we already found the customer and then essentially we're creating a list name and again this can come from uh, the policy uh, once I fix all of that we, we can repost it uh, and basically I'm tagging in the customer ID with uh, with the orders um, hyphen by customer so this is the list name and we are calling yet another pipeline um, basically saying hey get me all the orders uh, based on this list so essentially this list says that I want orders by customer and the customer ID tagged onto it so it will only bring you the orders which are uh, specific to the customer at this point uh, we are not looking at if they are completed if they're returned if they're pending you know, for the lack of uh, specificity I guess so um, but in the future maybe we want to only look at completed ones or you know things like that so um, gets the result we are going to take a look if, if the result is valid if there's any items in there if there is we're going to loop through it um, cast them into an order if the order comes out fine uh, we're going to see if it has a loyalty component if it does pull the points earned um, create a total and then we have the customer already so we are going to create a loyalty component tag it to the customer put the points earned and then uh, call this pipeline which persists that entity uh, again very self-explanatory it saves you a ton of time basically um, so once that's done it will end up finishing the um, finishing the minion our job is done so we uh, other than configuring the um, 
the services here, the main other thing we need to do is add a dependency, so add a reference to that project, obviously. And then in your minion, uh, we are adding this block right here just to kind of show, um, um, configure it in, um, in the commerce engine, what it needs to do uh, for this particular uh, minion, I'm calling it every two minutes. Again, this is something which is variable for testing purposes. It's fine. Once you deploy it uh, to your engine, you're going to have to do a bootstrap um, because we are adding um, new configuration. So it syncs up with the commerce database. So then everything is fine and everything works well. Uh, now, in order for us to test this, uh, there's a couple of things we want to do. So let me set that up real quick. So um, I stopped the commerce authoring in IIS uh, because that's the uh, port in which the debugger runs. Let's run this guy. And once he is set, we are going to uh, get the minion triggered. Uh, we'll just go ahead. So as you can see, we have the customer and that's the customer. Uh, but this guy doesn't really have any orders, which we will see that. Um, and then we got this. And let's look at this guy. Uh, so this guy has some orders. So let's get out of there. And then you can see that um, we hit a breakpoint inside here and the points are 219. So uh, it's going to update the customer and then be done with it, uh, which is exactly what we want. So now the other thing I wanna do, uh, let me pause and I'll show you the admin interface. So we have our admin interface. I'm going to go into customers, this customer. So as you can see, um, we have uh, been able to add that component to this customer so it picks up the points earned and the points spent um, and then it's going to show you all the orders um, we uh, created yesterday i didn't i don't think i created anything today um, but it kind of gives you an idea and each order will have so i don't really know which one would have this, but essentially this is an order. And again, as you can see for this specific order, the points earned is 219. Um, we also did it based on the line items and we just used points earned here, uh, but we could add uh, the points um, spent on anything we want. Basically we're tagging it. So it picks up everything and that kind of takes care of um, the, uh, post-processing of orders where we're going through all the orders every single uh, day or whenever you want it calculates the points and then we can figure out and set, uh, set the point spent based on the orders as well and then that can kind of gives us how many points the the user has so this this is a neat way to do it again um, I'll try to get the code up on um, github soon uh, I'm just trying to clean up and get a little bit further ahead uh, before I put it out there and also um, I have to figure out how to serialize the items and things like that. So uh, for now, I think this is uh, Commerce Minion. Um, was fairly easy to figure out. Any questions you might have, just make sure you um, post it on site core Stack Exchange, amazing tool, a lot of community, a lot of hits, uh, which we get all the time. Uh, the other thing as well as the Sitecore Slack, again, a great place to post, um, you know, the questions you have in the e-commerce channel and get uh, answers pretty quickly. Uh, thanks again. Hopefully uh, we'll post something else soon.